Hi everyone, Alex Roy here, your trusted John L. Scott real estate agent in Portland, Oregon, here with a very special video by request. I get a lot of requests on this. Today we are talking about condos in downtown Portland and I'm gonna cover three things. First of all, some important information that you need to be looking for when searching for condos. We're gonna talk about that. I'm gonna sh show, uh, give you a snapshot of what there is for inventory in downtown Portland for condos that are under 300,000. And three, I'm gonna pick out three uh, of my favorites in the under $300,000 class and show you some things about them. So stick around, this is a really great video. All right, to get started, I'm looking at condos in the downtown, so going as far south as the 405, everything west of the river, east of 23rd, and south, well, we go right to the north of the downtown, including some of Slab Town, some of the Pearl District, and the waterfront properties. Now, out of all of these condos that are actively for sale under 300,000, there are 72, 72 actively for sale. And let's find out something about those 72 condos. First of all, when we look at all 72 of them, there are 17 that are studios, quite a few studios in that under 300 price class. There are uh, 53 that are one bed and only two are two bed. So obviously when you're under 300,000, you're gonna be having a lot more one beds and studios. Second one, Days on market, how long have these condos been sitting around in the downtown? Under 300,000, there are 28 that are under 30 days on market. There's only seven that are between that 30 and 60 days on market and 31 that are over 60 days. Here's my thoughts on what this information is telling us. When they're getting to over 30 days on market, I think this is a point that if those sellers are motivated, they start getting real motivated after 30 days, willing to make a deal. I think that's a great time to come in as a buyer looking at condos that are just over 30 days on market. But you know what, for showing this big glut that's over 60 days on market, I think that shows the sellers out there that have a particular price goal that they wanna hit and they're willing to let that condo sit on the market as long as they need to until they get the buyer to get them at that right price range. So keeping an eye on condos that are either you know priced right and are gonna move right, so they've just come on the market, or the ones that are just over 30 days, that looks like a great time to be jumping in as a buyer. And the uh, third chart that I have prepared here, this is really important. What are the terms that they're willing to accept? Fortunately, out of all 72 condos that are under 300,000, there are none that are cash only. All of them are financeable. You could take out some sort of a mortgage. But here's the important thing. Not every condo is approved for an FHA loan. Only specific condo buildings uh, around Portland are approved for an FHA loan. And so out of the 72, only 12 units would be able to accept an FHA loan. The other 60, only the conventional loan will apply. Fortunately, conventional loans, there's lots of low money down conventional loans out there that you can talk to your lender about. And for the vast majority of people, a conventional loan will work. Okay, let's get started on taking a look at the condos that I've got picked out to view. My three favorite in the under 300 class. Just someone to give an example of a snapshot of what's on market. And let's start with the least expensive that is right over here, kind of behind the Portland Art Museum, uh, near the Safeway there. Uh, they call it the Southwest Jefferson Street Building. This one is on for only 209,000, it's definitely one of the most affordable condos you're gonna find in the downtown. And, but there's a couple reasons why. It is particularly small. It is a studio, despite the listing saying it's one bedroom. Uh, this is a studio at 481 square feet. Now here's the other things that you gotta be looking for when you're looking at condo pricing. There is the purchase price, but then there is also the HOA dues. The HOA dues are gonna be monthly and you're gonna be paying them every month along with your mortgage uh, to the bank when you're that you're financing. And so gotta be aware of what those are. 291 is on the low end, certainly anything from um, 290 up to about 400 would be kind of in a really, well, that's not a bad, HOA, it'd be a very fair one. And then you can, on the more expensive condos, certainly find ones that are in the 400 range. And then if you see anything over that is over $500 a month HOA, that is a bit of a red flag. 
The other thing that you need to know for pricing, and here I'm just showing you on my website when you go to alexroyrealty.com and you're looking at the listing page, that's where you're going to find the HOA dues right below the description. And then down at the bottom, you're going to find uh, your property taxes in the calculator. At the bottom of every listing page, there is a loan calculator and right there it's got the property taxes per year. This one is only $2,500 per year. That is definitely on the low end of property taxes. Those property taxes could certainly be as high as $5,000 or $6,000, which we're going to see in one of the other condos here today. So in this one, not a bad one. It, it has a uh, Good little view of the street it is a studio so you can see the whole uh, kitchen set there the bed is a murphy bed and folds right down to the kitchen but folds away neatly during the day and certainly if you've got guests over not a bad thing small condo best price second house we're uh, condo that we're going to look at is this one over here in the uh, harrison east building is what this condo is uh, referred to and i like this building i always get a pretty good vibe off of it whenever i show condos there and the one that we've got to show today is this one right here. Where's a good view of it? There we go. It has a uh, great west facing window. It is on for 280,000, certainly much bigger than the last one we just looked at. It is a true one bedroom. It has a separate bedroom, one bath, 725 square feet, 280. So next question, after we know the price, we want to know what is the HOA and the HOA on this one is 401 uh, dollars a month and the property taxes 4,400 per year. The other thing you want to know about the HOA is, hey, this isn't just something that's just going to uh, the homeowners association for nothing. It is covering obviously maintenance and management of the building that you're in, but a lot of them also cover sewer and water. So when you're uh, buying this condo, you can know that one of the bills you're not going to have every month is a separate water bill that is included in a lot of the HOAs. Most of the agents are good enough to write what the HOA fee covers in their description right up top, but if you can't find that, you need to contact me directly because it's going to be an agent only remarks and I can tell you what that HOA fee uh, includes. So this one here, pretty cool. Uh, looking at the pictures, it's got a cute little breakfast nook area uh, right off of the kitchen that has its own window that appears to be facing south. I like that. Cute little kitchen area. Looked like it's got some good finishes in good condition. So that's the Harrison one. And now the last condo that I want to show you today is this one that's over in the Pearl District. Just to give us a little bit of variety of what we're looking at. This one in the Pearl also has the interesting um, benefit of being on the ground floor and looking out on that parkway that is down in the Pearl. And so this one is on for 295,000. It is only a studio uh, with 755 square feet. So similar uh, size to the um, Harrison one, but only a studio. And it has HOA dues of $477 per month. And its property taxes are $5,600 per year. So clearly a lot, you're paying a lot more to live in that Pearl area of town, but very cute, has some nice finishes, has a little deck area that looks out onto that park area. Uh, and then the bedroom is interesting how the bedroom is divided off from the rest of the unit by this bookcase right there. And then this, as you can see inside the bedroom, a two thirds wall or half wall separating it out. Still a studio, not a true bedroom, but kind of has a bedroom area divided off. So these are just some examples of some condos. And if you want to go take a look at them, it couldn't be easier. Look, just send me a text, give me a call, send me an email. Happy to show them to you and happy to answer any questions that you have about condos. Certainly you can do a lot of searching right at my website, alexroyrealty.com. You're going to love the search map. You're going to love the information that you find there. But the next thing to do is go take a look at some of them with me. Easy to do. I love helping those first time home buyers buy condos in the downtown. Quit paying rent, start putting some equity into your pocket. I'm Alex Roy, trusted realtor in Portland, Oregon, working hard for your success. Hey, my life I shake it, shake it. Don't wanna fake it, fake it. I try to wake it, wake it.